Fire feels good on a cold day, doesn't it? Yeah, I like fire. You like fire, so you're a pyromaniac? You do like fire, man. You and your dad, y'all are always burning stuff. Because we grow, we grow, we up like this. We use fire constantly. We, grow, we use for cooking. We do fire, you know, fireworks outside, burn fire, anything. It's nice, actually. It's more nature than use the heater inside. So y'all had to use a heater inside your house in the Philippines? Yeah, in the... In the snow? No in the snow. Philippines? <laughs> yeah, there's a snow. You're actually about to tell no. me there's no snow there, huh? There's no there. Snow bear. Snow bear. <laughs> snow bear candy. Yeah. <laughs> there are snow bears in the Philippines. <laughs> snow bear candy. Menthol. Uh, yes. We were gonna, we were going to heat up water to uh, hurt up pluck these chickens can you say pluck for me pluck <laughs> what pluck pluck not fluck pluck pluck letter p yeah okay pluck because you're always flucking the chickens <laughs> pluck. <laughs> pluck say it again pluck yeah pluck the chickens. so she's gonna pluck the chickens and uh these are the last three she's doing these are roosters and we don't need a bunch of roosters fighting while we're going, baby. That's going to get hot on your sleeve right there. Ooh, it already is. It'll melt it. And you see, we we put this pot here quite a bit out on open fire. That's why it's got that black coating there on it. It's kind of like our outdoor ball pot right here. It's one of the things that Mel and I, we get along with so well is we really like to do things kind of of the earth, natural. Yep, it's that time of year. We're not smoking. we're not smokers. I'm smoking hot. Thank you. <laughs> if you say so, I think your eyes are getting distorted then. <laughs> we got three more days. And y'all can have this stinking winter here. Man, y'all can have it. I'm glad that we're only catching like four days of it before we're leaving. And that's enough for me. I had it. Enjoyed it. See you later. On to the warm, sunny islands of the Philippines. Sometimes sunny. Sometimes rainy. But, but definitely the warm. The rain that is enjoying. <laughs> yeah. Yeah, we were discussing that yesterday. That we actually enjoy the rains in the Philippines. And Melinda says she's always enjoyed since a child the rains in the Philippines. Yeah, so we go out uh, instead of just hiding inside. We love to enjoy outside, you know, having fun, going to the pond or do something, you know, to enjoy the rain. Yeah, y'all would even get in the uh, small ponds of water and get what, Cancun? Yes, Cancun. Yeah, the cook and yeah, all. We, and just... Yes, we swim to the pond <laughs> and, uh, so that we can get that water spinach for, for cooking, of course, do, for our food. Do you feel like sometimes there was a big blessing of, in a, in a lot of ways of growing up with um, just a simple life, simple means that you got to experience so many things that maybe seemed hard then, but you look back on it and you kind of appreciate it now. Yes, actually, you know, it's a good, good memories when you when you getting old, you know, there's always memories on that. And actually, simple life is really have fun. <laughs> right? Yes, yeah, simple. You're, you're out yeah, with yeah, the simple. world, yes, you know, you really yeah. get to know the world, don't mm -hmm. you? Uh, she tells me those stories and I always enjoy hearing them and listen to them. And, and that's still uh, prevalent there now as we're there. The family's still doing those same things. And uh, it makes life pretty exciting, not so boring, I tell you. We enjoy it. I guess it's all to the person and what you like. If you like living in a condo on a sky rise, you know, that's your business. That's what you enjoy. It's your time on the world. But... For me and Mel as well, we're more of the earth type people, yeah. right? And I, I always remember every time we go if during rain and then we go get uh, some uh, water spinach, some people laughing at us, you know, they all, they're always laughing at us, you know, they say that, oh, they're going to get us spin water spinach again, you know, every time, you know, I think it is the only, the food they can have it, <laughs> you know, people laughing at us. Y'all learned to survive off the land there, didn't you? Yes, you know, we can... Just uh, scavenge uh, coconut, pulling just, you know, from other people's property, of course. You know. But 
but that they didn't mind you getting it yes, though, not, it's, not it's swapping just the, it or nothing the like old that. coconut pulling in the ground right so, yeah they don't mind it and the seashore provides you a lot right there mm -hmm. and what else guava guava everything uh the green indian mangoes yes the right also pulling on the ground but those that are down like that are sometimes but the sweetest course, ones aren't they yeah you're not still yet of course you can ask to the owner you know can i have this just be honest you know that you want that one exactly there's a, there's a lot of ways to survive a lot of ways I tell you what, coconut provides you a whole lot more than you think it will. And even the chickens will eat that coconut. So if you're raising some manuk there and you've got some ground up, shaved up coconut, maybe make coconut milk by rendering the uh, juices out of that, those chickens will clean up what's left. You, you can find a lot of ways to provide if you just look for it. Man, you done plucked these down fast, didn't you? Yeah. Nice man, to have finishing. I went inside just a minute, man. She's been a chicken plucking fool. Can you say it again? How you say it? Chicken plucking fool. What did you say? What you said? You're a chicken what fool? <laughs> Plucker. Plucker. <laughs>